Tip number one is to uh, never uh, trust a simple uh, statement of IOPS requirements for a desktop or IOPS capability for a storage platform. Always focus uh, a little bit more deeply on whether the IOPS are read or writes. Tip number two is to consider the power of storage tiering. By that I mean putting multiple tiers of storage to use in your BDI environment. For instance, separating your replicas on your tier one or tier zero storage, very low latency storage platform, for instance, based on solid state or flash technology, um, that will benefit the replica traffic, which is needs to be low latency and needs to be 100% read. Tip number three is to develop measurable performance targets. I've worked with many customers who think that their storage is good enough or their storage performance is good. And it's important to attach metrics to that, meaning focus on throughput, uh, for instance, read performance um, on the front end, focus on throughput numbers, focus on latency numbers, and have specific targets in mind so that you know when you're not delivering good enough performance or acceptable performance. For instance, you may have a SLA that you set where all storage reads need to be sub 10 milliseconds. That's a key way to understand uh, your storage performance and understand if you're delivering good enough performance. Tip number four is to assess your environment. Actually go out and look at what resources, storage resources are being used by desktops. So prior to doing a VDI deployment, it's great to assess a current physical environment to understand uh, reads versus writes, block size, um, applications that demand the most storage. And that way that you can get your storage architecture right in a VDI environment. Tip number five is to always pay attention to peak average workloads. Never base a design on averages. For instance, when looking at storage, look at a desktop and focus on peak averages, which represent when uh, a desktop may need additional resources associated with a burst. If you base your design on averages, you're always gonna deliver average performance and you'll never be able to give users extra when they need it. That leads to tip number six, which is plan for bursts. Events like Monday morning logons, which could involve every user in the environment logging on in a 30 minute window in an office, uh, a mass log off event, or a month end reporting requirement. All of these burst activities uh, need to be taken into account when you're planning storage for BDI. Tip number seven is don't do things in software that kill storage performance. For instance, if you deploy a Windows 7 desktop and you allow uh, super fetching, that can introduce I.O. in the environment that will degrade storage performance for all desktops in the environment. Uh, antivirus definition updates, uh, you know, a seemingly innocuous 10 or 15 meg file that uh, is required in antivirus. If you load that definition file across hundreds of desktops at one time, it could be that your sh shared storage platform won't be able to keep up. My next recommendation is to tune and optimize your base image. Take into account your storage requirements, but also understand how you can uh, enable or disable features in the base operating system or base image that will benefit performance, will provide acceptable performance and good user experience from a storage standpoint. Tip number eight is watch your storage performance and understand when you're getting to the edge of capacity when you need to add more resources. Don't scale out your VDI environment until your storage platform pukes. Whether you're using direct attached storage or SAN, if you scale out the number of desktops and users continually, you may reach the uh, point in which your storage platform can't keep up. It can't deliver the IOPS that your use cases demand. So my final tip is to engage your trusted storage vendors and uh, trusted software vendors like VMware. Consider bringing these vendors in to help you uh, plan storage for your VDI environment. And with that, I hope these 10 tips have given you some ideas on how to be successful in delivering storage for your BDI environment. Thanks for watching.